Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Yumo. How are you guys doing? Hopefully everyone is doing very fine because today we're finally getting to some IUP sites. We're gonna check out the whole freaking lilac album. I know there hasn't been too many IU videos um, recently um, but we're gonna get back into the groove of things again and I've been looking forward to checking out the lilac album for the longest time. Today I also have my beautiful chat with me over here on the side um, because this is happening in a live stream. I tend to do these album listens in live streams because it's just fun to also have the chat give you some live input to it. So if you don't want to miss uh, any future live streams maybe Go hit that sub button guys and you'll not miss those but right now i do not want to waste too much of your time and i for one am very excited to get into this um, we know a couple of songs of this album um i also gotta turn off uh, random um lilac reactions up on the channel celebrity reaction should also be up on the channel and coin similar thing coin i think was also my first uh, iu song that i checked out um due to a request um my C, I know partially because it was a girl's planet, but I never heard the original from IU. So with that being said, let's start off with Lilac to set the mood of the album. And yeah, we are, we are gonna listen to the songs that I already know because they are, they are bits and pieces of a beautiful crafted album. So we're gonna check it out, check them out. This voice, this voice is, ah, oh, heavenly. What a great artist. Oh, I'm so excited for this album. It's gonna be some good music. Oh, this chorus is so smooth. It's been a while since I've listened to that song actually. It's really good to listen to it again. There's something also like very special about the song. I don't know, it's just so different. It's hard for me to actually compare it to something. Usually my, my head always jumps to like comparisons when it comes to, to music. What does this song remind me of? It's very hard to, dis to, to like really compare the song to anything out there. We just vibe and we just vibe and chat. Sounds so mysterious, kind of. Mm. That freaking long note. This song is in the mood setter for this whole album. Oh. This song is just fun. Fly like over, we're getting into the first new song for me, being Flu. Mm. 
this voice. Oh, I love where the song's going. Like this rather simple instrumental. Chill, I like it. It's really pulls you in. I like this transition into the chorus. It's really, really nice. Feeling myself, but her voice is just ah, uh, her voice is built different. Ooh, this part though, these nature sounds in the background as well. You hear some birds chirping in the back. Song is pure art. <laughs> Going up on these backing vocals, like ah, really, really great. A really chill song i like that that's a song like i don't know the vibe i was getting from it with all these nature sounds it just sounded so pure in my opinion and it was really cool like chill literally chilling outside uh for that song like in summer i could see myself that that was a really cool song and next up we get into coin probably i think still my favorite are you track to date I think so. Coin is just... I love it so much. Her voice is so strong on this song. And the groove! So good. So good. Yes, the first, the, the one to start it off, the one to start it off, the request. Ah, oh, and still my, as I said, still my favorite. This chorus. It's just so funky, fun, and ah. Oh. This rather deep voice part right here. Always gonna score bonus points for me. <laughs> Always love the part.
Ah, oh, such a good song. If you guys, if you're watching this um, album reaction and have not seen my initial reaction to this, you can find it up there on the channel. It was the song to start it off, as I already stated. It's so good! Instrumental is also just iconic. Do these strings in the back that are just going up? Sounds so freaking incredible. Next we go, High Spring Bye. Another new track for me. Let's hear it. Okay. Much more on the softer side of things by the first listen to it. OST vibes coming through. Oh my god, I can already like feel the goosebumps. All the goosebumps are gathering up below my skin, just starting to spike when the chorus is gonna set in. I feel like this might build up to a freaking awesome, beautiful chorus. This lingering chorus. Instrumental already with her voice. Oh. Her voice is really something different, huh? So very vibey. The chime setting in. I feel like that's one of the favorite sounds that are being used for a slower, more ballady songs. This like chime rain setting in. vibes these additional like backing vocals are very deep they almost sound male is there like is she just going very low or did they bring in a male vocalist sounds interesting oh. Oh. 
I'm so looking for, forward to that Killing Voices video, by the way. That'll be a fest. <laughs> My goodness, vocals. So good. Wow. It just sounds so amazing. Even though this is not really my style of music that I would go out of my way to listen to on just any day basis. Do these vocals are really something else? That was one of the longest songs, right? Yeah. Five and a half minutes as well. That's a long song. <laughs> A beautiful outro. All in all, very, very solid and very beautiful song. As I said, not my usual type of music that I go to, but yet you gotta appreciate the talent and work that you gotta put in these songs because to make this song a good ballad, you gotta put in emotions and like vocal prowess. And who to do it better than I, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's head into Celebrity. Another song that I know and truly, truly a great song. Again, reaction should be up on the channel for you to check out anytime you like. I love this bit. It's great. It's great. She's great. On oh, this part. Iconic. So good, guys. What can I say? Like I can't say very much as anymore to the song. It's just awesome, man. There's nothing more to say. You're saying it. You're literally saying it. You're taking the words out of my mouth. It's Just be blessed by the goddess herself. This part. Oh, that hits so surprisingly hard for some reason.
just just freaking amazing this song ah guys by the way what i just thought of first of all chat um please put in what your favorite song out of this album is if you heard them already so we can display it over here and also to you guys in the comments what is your favorite track of this whole album um i really want to see still i guess for me still coin so but we're gonna see what's what's it gonna be from the new songs so let's continue with troll featuring dean do not know a uh, train a uh, train <laughs> dean let's see what it sounds like troll is also so amazing all right all right all right oh okay the instrumental is starting off very very promising song sounds so fun already yo so much fun Very vibey. Ooh. Cool voice as well. Mm. Also, I feel like their voices are really matching. I like it. Sounds really fun. I also love this bass. But this car so oh both of them sounds even better, I think. Yeah, they sound great together. They sound really, really good together. Yeah, damn. Troll was a really, really fun song. Sound very much differently from all the other songs so far, I, I felt like. But still, the, the feature was really nice. Especially, I think the last chorus was my favorite from the choruses. They sound great together. Like, Ayu could, with her, with her higher tones, could really be much, like, could really be up there. But whilst Dean was, I guess, supporting it, like, from a more bassy... I could talk out of my ass right now, because I do not have any music musical knowledge. I'm just describing what I heard, so bear with me here. It sounded like his, like, more bassy voice was really supporting her vocals, I felt like. It sounds really good. All right. Empty Cup. Wait, what? Did I look wrong? I felt... I, didn't I say there wasn't a single song being... Um, Less than three minutes long. This one's two minutes. All right, empty cup. Mm. 
Love these dragged out vocal parts. Her voice is just addictive, honestly. Oh, this part's really cool. Vocals in the back sounded great. Yeah, that song was really short. Short. It was really solid. Not my favorite from the album so far, um, but really solid song. And her voice, as always, like you can't go wrong with any of her songs just because her voice is always amazing to listen to. That's just something that really strikes me with IU a lot. All right, next up, My C. I'm very much looking forward to... I was about to say her version of the song, but it's literally her song. But for me, having only heard the Girls Planet contestants version uh, of it, I really want to hear the original right now, because I was already a big fan of their covers. Let's listen to this. It's about to be good. Song is so freaking. I don't know, it just sounds sad in this beginning, but it's so beautifully sad. It's a beautiful sadness in a way. But then to spit it up. Oh! Oh, the shivers. Oh my god, this is a whole different level. Yo. This song is literally insane. Might be one of my favorite ballads of all time, I think, already. Beautiful piano, by the way. I love it. I kind of have a thing for pianos. I don't know why. Don't play them myself. Oh, the spit up. The guitar coming in.
Jesus Christ. Sounds so good. <laughs> Yo, that I know is just no joke. It's no joke. Yo! Where's this choir coming from all of a sudden? Did they just snuck into the recording booth? It's a masterpiece. A freaking masterpiece. Jesus Christ. Coming, going on. <gasps> Insanity. Insanity how I can like a ballad this much. There's no way I should like the song. Oh, that was still a part of it, but it's, it already changed the song. There's no way I should like a song of that genre this much. It's like if you've followed my channel and my album reactions for a while, ballad, ballads are usually the, the songs where I'm like, oh, they're great. They sound, they sound beautiful. But no joke, I would listen to this song on a daily basis. I don't know if it would take the special aspect of the song away. But my goodness, I. This song is just this good. Anyway, for me, so far from the songs I didn't know, definitely a top one contender. But I've seen some Apu uh, hypes, ups in the, hypes up in the chat, especially by Taro. So let's see how Apu sounds like. I'm such a Hmm. Oh. Loving it so far. I'm really liking it so far. Yo. Very playful, I like it. God, I love the freaking. Could you even call this a melody? Oh, 
Ooh, sudden silence. Interesting. Oh. I like this riser to come back in. this bit this bit is really cool I feel like I'm just vibing out to this already She can be so low-key with her voice, but if she really puts it out there, it's so strong. I love it. It's so like hip hop, not hip hop in the sense of genre hip hop, but it's like so like uh, 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 wait, so like you just want to skip and jump around to the song. I don't know, especially with that chorus and that melody. Just it's it's so like I, w I was initially gonna say hip hoppy, but then I realized if I say hip hoppy, you might get it confused with like hip hop, and this is obviously nothing in terms of hip hop. But ah, I really enjoyed that song. That that's definitely also a top three contender for me. Oh, this is gonna be a hard decision. So far, I think it's in between Apu and My C for me from the songs that I don't know. But we're not yet done. We still have Epilogue as I think the last song of the album, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's hear it. Okay. Low key start. Ooh. There's one sound just on the left speaker. Interesting. Ooh, this already sounds like an exper like audio experience there's certain sound just on the left and certain songs just on the right ear so cool but she's always in the center Man, like so good. It's really like you're standing in front of the stage where she's performing it because she's always in the center, and then the certain songs coming from like here and certain from like there. It's so cool. I love it. And whatever these distorted kind of like old radio sounding vocals are like for example the piano was just on the right side oh, so cool Oh. 
Sounds amazing. I don't know this what this these distorted vocals in the back are, but they are a really really cool element to the song as well. They really transport this like like analog old school mood that the song is setting. Is that it? That seems to be it. What a cool album, honestly. It is everything I wanted and more. Like Going into this, I knew that it was probably hard for me being like, every song is like, oh my god, what is this? Because this is just not IU sound. Her song isn't just all out the banging. But you, let me start it differently. Like the freaking insane hard hitting songs are usually what I go to. And there's just certain artists where I get my more chiller, more beautiful music from. Um, and IU has definitely become one of them. So I'm very, very, very happy to have checked out this album with you guys and gonna check out more of her music in the future as well. Because she's just an incredible artist, honestly. She has a very unique and cool voice. Her vocal abilities are so good. <laughs> like she does it so effortlessly. It, it these sounds the songs sound so effortlessly sung, but yet they're a masterclass. My C is definitely the song for me, I think. For me, I think it's my favorite out of the album. I kind of knew that I would like the song going into this because, as I said, I've heard the song itself already. But I haven't, I haven't listened to I Use My C yet, literally. Like, that was just a whole another level. The covers were good, but... Her original of My C is just, yeah, as I said, probably one of my favorite ballads of all time. I would go this far. Because as pointed out, I'm not the biggest ballad listener. But I have my playlist for these types of slower, beautiful songs. And this song is going in there, trust me. This song is probably going... Heck, I might even consider putting my C into my main capo playlist, but then I would listen to it. I kind of want to treat this song as something special. I want to listen to that when I feel like I really want to enjoy, enjoy right now. Like my main playlist is just my all day playlist, you know, doesn't mean like these songs are like, I'm going to listen to these three months and not like them after. But my, my C just has the special energy to it. Apu, probably second place for me. Really great and fun song as well. And Epilogue, I think, is also up there because Epilogue was just so cool and fun to listen to with the arrangement of how it uses uh, stereo sound. But all in all, great freaking album. Very, very happy I finally got to check it. So guys, um, I told you the question earlier, but if you skip through the songs you might not have listened uh, or heard it uh, what is your favorite uh, in terms of songs on this album also heck, tell me what your favorite IU song of all time is maybe I'd love to see and then uh, soon I think in the list we should be getting there um, also gonna check out the Killing Voices video uh, very very soon so if that's something for you again make sure to be subbed to the channel if you do not want to miss that and guys thank you so much for watching Thank you, Chad, for listening with me to this beautiful album. And yeah, gonna see you guys in the next video. Everyone stay safe, send you a lot of love. Until then, guys, bye-bye. Have a good one.